Hey there, people. My name is Tagori, and welcome back to more Horizon Forbidden West. I'm telling Ah, Red! Just who I need. You know her? Great! Then tell her that going out there is a bad bet. Well, you tell him. He better crank out what he knows before I pummel him in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Della. What's going on? It's my sister, Boomer. She ran off into the desert. We, uh... We had a fight. I told her we'd discuss it in the morning, after we both had time to cool off. But when I woke up, she was gone. And Spectacles over here was the only one to see her leave. But he refuses to tell me which way she went. You can't go striking off into the desert. You'll get lost. And if thirst doesn't kill you, the vanishing dread will. You know what happened to the Delvers who went out there last? No, you don't. No one does, because they didn't come back. What about my sister? She's out there all alone. Maybe she's a sunk cost. <laughs> I'm asking you, Red. Help me find her. What's the vanishing dread? What's the vanishing Ooh, dread? Perfect. That's what Stemmer calls the machine that stalks the sands out there. Sometimes you'll see it in the distance. A stationary blur of metal. It'll stay like that for hours. And then the next time you look, gone. Like it was never there. But what kind of machine is it? Don't know. No one's ever gone close enough to find out. A few of those Delvers went out there once, but all they found was a bunch of sand dunes. Hmm. But I don't care what it is. It's not going to stop me from finding my sister. All right. If Boomer's lost in the desert, I might be able to find her. I'm coming with you. All this is my fault anyway. But you'll die. Where did you last see her? I suppose if you're with her, the odds of survival do go up. I thought I saw her heading towards the metal arches east of here. Metal arches. Yep, meet and at the arches. We'll start. I'll meet you at the arches. Okay. Join me there as soon as you can. Will do, but there is something that I need to do before getting to that point. The boomer bust. Okay. Well, let's go up instead of avoiding the stairs. <laughs> How do I... Ah, oh, there is a ladder. Stemmer, did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city. Where fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free-flowing ale. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below, and in one of them, the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Alas, the gizmo lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo, but couldn't get it? A door bars the way, locked by some confounded means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the Shard Counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? I'll see what I can do. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. And so our heroine went forth, and the wordsmith's hopes went with her. Okay. Also... What are you? How difficult is that? Skilled. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, we do have a quest to go down there, don't we? Side quest? Second verse. No. Yes. Okay. Knight of Lights. 
Can't I use this elevator? There's no elevator. Wait, it's above. The elevator is above. There we go. How about a game of No, shut up. I will be back though. Maybe some other time. Yes, it probably would be easier to just fall. But at the same time, like I don't have to I swim wanna... down anymore. Oof, so dark. Okay, a dragon. So where are we going? Did I get this? Yes. I don't even know what it was, but the fact that I just scanned it means I got it. I don't... What is that? Unknown. Okay, there's the giant statue that Stemmer mentioned. The ruin should be near. It's an Rome. astronaut. I do like though that there is a quest that involves coming back down here. That's pretty unusual. I'm gonna scan around here. An identified signal. Could be. What is. What's that? Concealing Omen. I honestly can't see anything through this. So it's here. It's 33 away, though. So I don't know if that's above or below. Beside a metal tower. The gizmo stemmers after should be inside. There we go. Okay. I... What? Can I drop down and... I'm right inside. Okay. And... What can I see from in here? What... What is... I still don't know what this is. That is below. Get a good glide in. No, it's above. Okay, it is above. Nailed it. Right on top of there, probably. Um. Go to the underground room. Well, okay. Got it. There's machines and borrowers. Something right here? Oh! Where's that snap, Ma? I think it's right there. 
Wait. An image from the old world. Looks like part of the city inside the dome. Okay. Ugh. I've already locked myself into this vista point. Um. That's still there. Cool. So. Let's try up there, maybe? The city from this overhang. Maybe I should try to line up the image here. Hmm. Got it. Boom. Ooh. Dune Hollow. So that wasn't very difficult. Is that what it was pointing me towards? Must have been. What is this? Go to the ruin with the dragon statue. Okay, I want to do this one first. Where? Ugh. Okay, lofty ambitions. Sorry I'm not saying too much, but... Uh... Oh, okay, I just slid right past soul? the door. Pardon me, I'm just gonna... <laughs> just gonna make my way through. Get that. Duck out of the way. Oh, there's a chest. Alright. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Gotta get higher up to reach the statue. Shouldn't be a problem. What I give for a cool breeze. I guess it would be pretty humid in here. But I don't know about hot. Hot and humid are two different things. Okay, well, got it. Nailed it. And from here, I guess over here. Wait, I saw. Yeah, okay, well. I guess that's one way to do it. This is the other way to do it. There we go. Yeah, I was just supposed to jump onto that and then uh, to here. But, ain't nobody got time for that. Uh-huh. Another vent. Now to get the burner. Oh my god. Yep, I can jump on this. Wait, whoa! Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. Okay. Can I go further up though? Guess not. No real reason for me to go up. 
burrowers. Not even the ones that attacked Morland. Huh. Ow. Coming? No? Good. See you later, loser. Anyway. What am I doing? Um, I want to do Knights of Lights. Okay. Should be able to take this all the way around. There's a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. We're still in this fight. What fight? No one's fighting. Aloy. Now, where's that gizmo? Oh no. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? There it is. <laughs> Coming in or no? Just gonna wait out there? Okay, have fun. There. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a code to open. I should check around the room. Six. See if I can find anything. Six digit code. Aha! Uh -huh. Bunch of treasure. Ooh, there's a, a, a data point at least. What do you say? Um, it ends in 135. Same six digit code as the RS, as in the RSVPs he sent out. The guy's not too creative, what can I say? Okay. Kyle. From Kyle ends in one three five. Like Gizmo's actually called an ornament. It's like the ones I found in other ruins. I think the ornament here is the last one in the set. And it looks like there's part of a code. It might be for the door. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. The hatch it might lead to another part of the ruin. But I'll get to it. Uh, huh? Can I not pull that? Oh, damn. Nope. I mean, that's kind of good. That means that I don't need to move it. It's not very far. Maybe there's a way to pull the top crate off. Never mind. <laughs> there's an opening at the top of the fence. Could be a way in, if I can find a way to get up there. Where am I going? There. Right. If I separate the crates, I can pull the bottom one out. It's hit my head. I think I can pull the top crate off if I find the right spot. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, wait. I pull from here. There we go. I 
What does this get me? What does this do for me? I'm kind of thinking that if I just like let it go right here, it'll slide down and open the door. Nope. Not how that works. So, what? And do I need... Oh, okay. I see what it's for now. Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> so I had to pull it off just to put it back on again. There we go. And where do I want to put it? Okay. If I put it right here. Should be able to reach the opening now. Oops. Jump over. Make yep. It. Now what? <laughs> nope. Nope. There we go. I won't budge from this side. Climb back up. We can go back down. Maybe. Yes. Can I pry this off like this? Let's see where this leads. All right, one, three, five. is up here. Oh. More of a ruin in there. Looks like uh okay. Seven three nine one three five. The Romans were part of something called the Knights of Lights holiday promotion? A way to celebrate old world holidays by changing the holograms above ground. Oh. Okay, one more time. 739135. 739135. Part of the codes here, too. I should have what I need to open the door. Okay, that's it. Got it. I'm dead back I got up all to nine of them. Maybe we can figure out how to make this thing work. Okay. Sorry, I was being a little bit quiet there. I was trying to remember the code.
Alright, and we will go back to the surface. Fat shake? What? <laughs> if I remember correctly, the entrance is over this way? Yeah, it's, it is taking me there. Good. Uh, if I remember, it's a pain in the butt to get back up. I don't know why they couldn't just be like a single... Oh, okay. Uh... Nope, still further up. Oh, look, a ladder. <laughs> okay, I guess since they've been down here a lot more, it's not as bad. Yeah. Boom. She seems exhausted. I need to turn these things in at. You're there. That's right, I would need to. Never mind. <laughs> well! In any case, this is the one I wanted to do more. So let's turn this in. See what he has to say about it. The Nora returned. But did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith, the keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart, held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. I think I found all of them. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event? And so does every feast in the claim. There's the Feast of the First Keg, the Feast of Fermentation, the All Hops Feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. I might be able to turn on the lights. Hmm, time to find out. Which one should I try first? Ah! Let's try Valentine's Let's go with Day. This one. I'll get uh, right to it. Do I have to try out all these? A lot of hearts flying around. Oof. I'd bet shards this one's dedicated to the romantic arts. Hey, oh, and before I forget, right help yourself to the contents of that chest over there. Which one? For our heroine who dared the challenges of the West. The covering lights long lost. Serve riches and rewards. He said the chest over there. I'm not quite sure I live up to all that, but thanks. Aha, here. What do we have? <gasps> Ancestors return. This is a disc launcher. And it is legendary. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what it's got on it. On it. Okay, agility damage, eh, draw speed, oh. acid, shock, and tear. All three of those are going to be pretty good. Can I 
replace something? What do I got? Ow. Ugh. So, one of these bows, this one, is essentially just meant for, for status, so I might as well replace that. Yeah. Boom. Exceptional. Huh. And... Lofty ambitions, right there. What is this? Wait. Oh, okay. All right. See, I thought there would be a little more fanfare to the uh, returning all the ornaments, Did but whatever. It? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Morland. Yes, yes. Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? <laughs> Still the dragon head. Nice. And away we go. Looks like it took him the entire night, but he did it. Oh. What was that? Nah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Oh, give it a little flame. Okay, he's supposed to be pulling it there. He was not, in fact, Aha! pulling it. We ascend. Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah. Oh. Sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed, we're powered by hot air, just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. God, this would be amazing we to see at night. History, the first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts. Oh yeah, the history of Osirum flights is fascinating, and you know, violent and frequently incendiary. Ooh. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. Orb? With Wait, what orb? I think he means the balloon? Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. And we're doing it. We're flying. <laughs> You know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. Huh. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started his work songs and forges around the claim. <laughs> Just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> Feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What is that? Uh, that was the tether. Yeah, I think our tether just went done. Pure Osram craftsmanship. Morland! Oh. <laughs> That's just a small setback. Nothing to. Are we okay? Are we dead? We're not dead. Hey, hey, go away! Go! 
Alright, what do we got? To him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. There he is. Oh, stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear out these machines. Nope. 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 Okay, and I think we have one more enemy to take care of, so let's use our new Ancestor's Return. Also, that's late. Oh god, that comes back fast. One. Better check so on where the is Hold on, Morland. The... I'll get you okay, out. Okay. Aloy. Great gears, you're alive. Where are we? Map. Oh. Okay. This Would is why I applying a little did not leverage. R2. Hey, you all right? Just kind of oh. stood over his face. Oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... That's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram Aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. Sorry, I had to check something out. You were saying something before I left? Now, as I was saying before. Ah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. Interesting. It fell off when we were attacked. I, mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay. I mean, you should really Let's go. study how it's built. Did you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning? It was probably a storm bird. Woof. Where are you? Where did you go? There you are. Okay. Because there was something sparking over here. Alright. Let's roll, shall we? Sorry, there was something I needed to do. You were talking before I left? Now, as I was saying before. Woof. Hideous machine. No, at least it vanished with the storm. Oh. Aloy, would you mind finding a way across? All we need is something to bridge the gap. Okay. Um. Let's start with this. I highly doubt this will be anything. Tree. I think I found us a bridge. Right, triangle. Oh god. Oh come on. Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. Are you gonna move or 
What? I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, uh, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. How many of these can I? Okay, four. It makes eight. All right, so this thing is weak to acid. I still remember from the last time I fought it. Let's go. This easy. I actually caught that again. Got it. There we go. Last hit of the uh, thing does explode. So I got that off. The Stormbird, wing thruster. Oh, I can definitely use for this. Okay. 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 Ooh. More wing thruster. I wonder if acid like reduces the if it gives all the other things tear all the components. Does that make any sense? Where are you, Marland? There you are, somewhere. God, I pushed that bird so far away. Wow, I pushed it away. It's dead. Hi. Steel to my soul found it. <laughs> ah, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. More lint? Again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb. Something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland. Alright, great. Lofty Ambitions is finished. Took a lot longer than I expected it to. But that's going to be it for now. I hope you've been enjoying this. And please join me again for another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs>